Hey guys, uh, so I am here with a Vector reaction today. Now, um, I have liked Vector for an awful long time. Uh, well, I say an awful long time. What is it? 2021 now. So I've been, I've been into them for like five years now. Um, when they released Terminal Redux, um, sort of press-wise, it was just everywhere. Uh, and I got my hands on it. Uh, and yeah, it blew me away. So for those who don't know about Vector, they're like a space sci-fi, sci-fi, sci-fi kind of band. Um, they take inspiration from stuff like thrash, uh, black metal, death metal. It's kind of like all of that rolled into one and then given like a sci-fi edge. Uh, they're, they're kind of unlike any other band that I've properly listened to. I think there are other bands in this very niche category of uh, extreme metal, but uh, yeah, I, I just haven't listened to them properly. <laughs> and Vector, they just scratch that itch in terms of extreme metal. Um, they're all, or the, most of their songs are like blisteringly fast. Um, the drums are insane. Um, yeah, as I say, like ever since I listened to Terminal Redux, I went back, listened to all of their albums, including their like demo EP, um, and it's all killer. It's all killer. I think the band have like progressively got better and better and better with each release. Um, and obviously there was a big, uh, what's the word, a big controversy that I won't go into too much detail with. Um, however, obviously it reflected very badly on the band. Uh, and if you haven't heard of it, then just do a little bit of research. Um, but yeah, I don't know the specifics of it myself. I just know that it essentially tore the band apart for a little bit. Um, but they seem to be back. Uh, it's David DeSantos, I think his name, uh, the front man. And you know what? I'm just ready for more of his music because... I, I loved the previous stuff, uh, and I can't wait to listen to this. Uh, so yeah, they released this new song called Activate, uh, and the artwork, just from looking at the thumbnail, is very much sort of black future -y kind of vector. Um, it's cool. I like their graphic design artist, whoever it is. He's, he's incredible. Uh, he captures their vibe, like, so perfectly. But... I'm excited. Uh, it's a three and a half minute song, which is quite unusual for Vector. A lot of their stuff is incredibly long. Um, like the, the songs are rarely under six minutes, I've found. <laughs> but um, despite being like blisteringly quick, they just cram a bunch of stuff into one song. Uh, so for a single, you know, three minutes 30, it's pretty good. Pretty good going for them. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to listen to it, to be honest. Um, as I say, it, it probably came out a couple of months ago, uh, but it's new to me and I still haven't listened to it. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. Um, they went on a huge hiatus, uh, but here we are. New single, maybe a new album at some point. Um, yeah, I mentioned that it kind of like this this controversy tore the band apart a little bit. Uh, I'm really hoping that this new lineup is good, basically. I hope it just manages to capture that sound that they had because I was such a big fan of it. Uh, anyway, enough from me. Let's get into it. Uh, this is Activate by Vector. Oh, we got the galloping. It's like She-Wolf by Megadeth. Straight away. <laughs> this is like really old school thrash, this. Even production wise. Ooh. Those big chords are back as well. That's something I always used to love about them. Those extended freaky chords. This is interesting, already. Yes. Mm. It's kind of like early Hetfield vocals. That's a vibe I'm getting from this. Because, yeah, Dave's vocals were always very, sort of, out there. Very, very shrieky and very shrill. And I loved it. He sounded like an alien eel worm kind of thing. It was sick. This is reminding me of, like, Battery, though. <laughs> it's that kind of era of thrash, this. It's interesting. Ooh. Bass is quite tasty. Your 
I'm digging it though. The pace is there. I want to see if they. Say I want to see if they deliver on the um, on the groove that they had. Solos are as cool as ever. I'll give them that. Those whammy dives. Christ alive. <laughs> Straight in. I'm kind of digging this though, to be fair. It is definitely different though. But I dig it. I like it. That's very interesting. Right, so a lot of the... Um, I don't know. I guess a lot of the minute sort of flares that I used to love about this band, uh, especially from Terminal Redux, because um, I, I personally hold that album as a bit of a classic. Uh, it's a bit of a personal favourite of mine. Um, but yes, um, I don't know. It may have, it may have just been the personnel on that album that just really gave it that life. Like I, I think the drums on Terminal Redux were out of this world, um, and everything was just melded together so perfectly. The songwriting was absolutely on point, um, and there's like there's like little traces of all of that in this tune. But I'm not 100% sure. I was totally convinced. I don't know. I don't know. I have to I have to listen to more. I feel. I feel like Vector, uh, when they create music, it's it's very difficult to just listen to a singular song and be convinced. I don't know. Does does that make sense? Um, I've always listened to their albums as like complete experiences because they have songs that are like blisteringly fast. They have songs that are a bit more subdued, uh, and they've got some that really go in with these sort of alien noises and whatnot. And there, there was loads of that in this. Uh, I was really happy to hear that. Loads of just uh, yeah, like whammy dives on like harmonics uh, that just sound like laser guns going off. It sounded sick. Um, but I don't know, I'm not sure the songwriting was totally there, um, and also the drums, like, very serviceable, very cool, but, like, after hearing their last drummer, I'm like, I can't, I can't unhear it, I can't, I just associate those fills, and uh, I'm not a drummer, so I don't know the technical terms for it, but he just had a very distinct style, um, and I'm struggling to unhear it, like, I, I, I love Vector with that drummer. Um, the bassist was very cool, though, in this, I'll, I'll definitely say that. They've always had pretty strong bassists, um, Vector, and the guitar's obviously great. Vocals have changed. Um, they used to be a lot more shrill, or I remember them being a lot more shrill and a lot more alien-esque. Um, whereas this, as I say, it reminded me of um, Metallica, like earlier era Metallica. It was quite weird to hear that. But Dave, he, he pulls it off pretty well. Like, I, I, can't, I can't deny it. It was, it was a good song, I reckon. I reckon. I reckon I did like it. It's just different, isn't it? I'm having to fall in love with this band again uh, under a different lineup, and I think they've had a different lineup for pretty much every single one of their albums as well. So, hopefully, they manage to like land on a more solid uh, lineup, and they can start perfecting their formula. Because I think Dave, uh, the front man, he writes a lot of their music, but it's the personnel that really bring it to life. You know, it's the other members. Ah, anyway, that was cool though. I did enjoy that. Uh, what did you guys think? Uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought. Um, yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, if you've got any other songs that you want me to check out, then feel free to uh, also chuck those in the comments. Uh, I'll do my best to get to them. No promises, though. Um, I've been completely slacking on this channel, uh, and I want to get back up to speed with it. So I went. I recently went through and looked through all the comment sections of all of my um, videos so far. And there's not even that many. There's probably like 10, 15. Uh, but the amount of songs that I've got to get through now, um, I took every comment that recommended me something and I, I was like, right, okay, I'll write this down and I'll get to it. So making my way through this list. Uh, and if you recommend me something, your your recommendation will probably go on it. Uh, but I've just got a lot to get through in the meantime. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that was uh, Activate by Vector. As I say, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, and apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next one.